Hello everybody, my name is indeed Cacti Mamba, and today we are going to be playing some more Path of Champions, but more importantly, not only are we going to be playing some more Path of Champions, we're going to be playing Alawi. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be playing Alawi on three stars and level 30. She is as highly maxed out as you can get her, and we've got some Rattlex that we are using today. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Crown Guard Inheritance, Troll King's Crown, and Green Glade Shade Leaf. Now, in my opinion, these are the two best rare relics to use on her, right? Troll King's Crown means that you basically guarantee that the tentacles are going to get there and you have Overwhelm. And then you're going to have the Crown Guard Inheritance, which gives you the level up rally. But there are a couple other things you can do. You could go Corrupted Star Fragment and constantly kill off your tentacle and just give it to Alawi, right? And if you do that, then you wouldn't need the Overwhelm one. You know, I think this is the better way to go. And then... You, there's also other things that you can play with the Lowey here. Like, you can play Riptide Batteries, eh. Stalker's Blade is good on her for just damage. Tempest Blade would probably be fine. Both of these are fine for extra stats. Dejarum's Fist would have been fine. That was up here as well. That would have been fine. Not amazing, but it would have been fine. Um, Rigo's Lantern, nah. Blood Point Carapace, decent, but not amazing. And then Turd Plating's okay, right? Like, some of those are fine. Now, some of the other ones that I don't own. Caulfield's Warhammer, not that good on her. Um, GA would have been just good for just the extra reroll. Heart of Gold is pretty good. Golden Spatula, man, you know, just like it is what it is. Luminous Orb would actually be an insanely good because it, it gives her three extra health. And then on top of that, you give her elusive, uh, the ability to block elusive units. That is really, really good. Uh, that one's good. Berserker's Buckle is good, and this one's pretty good, too. But, yeah, so those are kind of like the ones that are like, I could see that you're playing with her. Now, I think that this is a really good combo to do, so we're going to be going with that one. We're going with Alawi into the Galio matchup. This is complete domination. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys are as excited as I am to see exactly how dominant you can be on Alawi at 3-star. Now, it's not as brain off as it is with uh, Jinx, but it is still pretty, pretty strong here. You know, I don't think that she's anywhere close to weak. Not that most champions are at level 33 star, but you know, it's still one of those things to keep in mind here uh, as everything is happening, and so typically... One Tentacle Smash, like we could go Grumble Slug and a Tentacle Smash, but I'll still keep the Answered Prayer. We're guaranteed to get a, a, an Alawi draw at the start of the game anyways. So, you don't have to really worry about that one. And we are going to go Grumble Slug, because that gives us the one extra mana to play the Tentacle Smash next turn. And we do not care about losing this Grumble Slug. The more important part is getting these attacks off, because... They help with the profit of an Elder God. When allies attack, they spawn three. And the Test of Spirit, plus one starting mana round start, grant the weakest enemy vulnerable. That is just, it's just so good. Um, also, by the way, not to mention, I don't understand why. Maybe this was just because it was in the Legends level one, like my, my Legend level. But it gave me a, uh, a relic with my Gold Vault. So I'm, I'm assuming that maybe that this is how they're, they're going to put like a relic in the uh, the gold vaults and the platinum. Like if you get a platinum vault, you get a, uh, one of the silver relics or a rare relic. And then if you get the bronze or you get a bronze for gold, which sucks because I can't get any platinum, vault, <laughs> uh, platinum vaults right now. But it is what it is. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Answer prayer. Hmm. Pinnacle Smash is probably better. Yeah, but I stopped, you know, rambling on. We could kill this guy, but I'd rather just kill him. And he, he's still going to be frostbitten anyways. Alawi shows up here. Alawi can give elusive. It's pretty good. Alawi should level, meaning that we get the rally, right? Because of Crown Guard's inheritance. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Nice. Alright, and then obviously you just attack again. Look at that. 
Look at that. And it's in, it's an elusive tentacle, right? So, like, nobody can really block it. Part of the other strong... Like, yeah, like, what does that even do? It, it heals them for two health, but... It doesn't do anything else, and I have Overwhelm, so it's not like it does anything there. <sighs> Alright. Hopefully you guys are staying hydrated today. That is always a goal of mine. Try and stay hydrated. I do carry around my water bottle with me through all of these videos. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very important thing to do. Stay hydrated. It's good for you. I promise. Alright, uh, Teemo's not a bad look at all. Also, Titan Tax on, um, Nautilus makes me want to get him, but it wouldn't do anything. Like, it's not good. <laughs> he would just be at 315, but it's like, what's even the point? Because we're not going to go deep. And I'd much rather just get a Teemo that can steal the strongest enemy and get free attacks for me. So let's just do that. And then we're going to go towards the champion item chest because we want to buff up Alawi as much as possible. Alawi is the finisher, right? Teemo will never be the finisher in our deck. Alawi is the finisher in our deck. And will always be. Above cap's fine. Tentacle smash, fine. Mirror image will probably mulligan that one away. We've obviously got an Alawi in our hand, which is good. I love the Bill Driver music. Alright. Hold them in. They don't get to attack, right? Which greatly hurts them. So, do, do, do. Probably just attack like this. Boom! Plant some puff caps in the deck. Get a tentacle smash, most likely. Oh, we're tentacle smashing. We can also tentacle smash next turn, too. So, it's better to get a... Yeah, like, look at that. We just got a bigger buff on them right there. Oh, that's such a free tentacle smash again. Look at that. And then look at how big this guy is. He's a 6'6". Six, six. We have a lot of good cards. Alright, I think we've got it here. And I think I have the plan. I'm gonna go Alawi and then attack like with Alawi first, tentacle second, team of third. That's what I'll do. And look at how beautiful this is. Look at that. They can't even block. They can't even block because it's double elusive. Boom! Nice. And we would have rallied anyways. It's beautiful how much damage you do. Like, as long as you can keep... You can get a couple free attacks off, get those tentacle... The tentacle count up, and then once you drop a wow, it's just game over, right? Like, you just... You're just too big at that point, and it's very rare that they have anything to answer except, like, hard removal. That's why I think Spell Shield is also really good on a Lally. Uh, but I just don't put it in as a relic, because typically you wanna... You wanna use a different relic, uh... In that slot if you're level 30, right? Uh, this is always good, because it spawns more tentacles for free. Right, free attacks are always going to give us at least a 3-3 in terms of tentacles. Speaking of free attacks, we could go with Lowey. I actually think I like that one a lot. We can play around it. Uh, We don't really need a ton of health here. We're going to heal 4 anyways from our stamina power. So why don't we get rid of Boo Boo Lookout? I never really like using that card because we, I feel like our curve always should come like a little bit sooner. Alright. Uh, get rid of you, get rid of you, and we'll keep the rest. Ooh, nice, we got Teemo. So we can capture whatever they play. I mean, they play Zoe. But they're probably going to play this first. Oh, beautiful. We got more out of them before we uh, take them away. Yep, we're obviously not blocking that. Why would we? And we're going to play this first, actually. Oh, actually, no, we're not. We're just going to attack first, because there's got, they've got the stun anyways. So we're going to play that first, so we can get our free first tentacle spawn. And then afterwards, we're going to play this. 
so that we can get the the play there. So we're gonna play it like this now. And look at that. Now we're a six six already. And then beautiful, we're gonna have the Alawi on the next drop here if we want it. Oh, and we have answered prayer too. It's really good. We're actually gonna hold off. We're just gonna play the spawn too, so then we can still use the tentacle strike for Zoe. Now we can play Alawi here because they can no longer play Zoe. And then we get the free attack off Alawi. Unfortunately, Alawi won't level, but she'll get pretty darn close. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. Alright, and then all we're going to do is next round, we're going to open attack. And because we have plenty of health here, we just want Alawi to level. We're going to pull in the... Ooh, actually, who do we pull in here? Um, we're going to go like this this and like this and then what we'll do is we'll go like this and like this and I actually can't I have to attack with the with that one first so that allow you levels so they don't die to this is what they have to do which is annoying but it's fine I can't give them elusive yet but I will I will because what's gonna happen is they're gonna level right so they get three health all right that's fine doesn't matter anyways, because we kill them, but you have to be careful of stuff like that. Because you want to make sure that you get the rally off with Alawi, right? Like, even if she did die, by getting the rally off with her, you're guaranteeing another attack, right? Like, that's one of the most important parts of her. So, you got to keep things in mind with that kind of stuff there. So, just, you know, play around that kind of stuff for sure. Um... Oh, man. I could do the special delivery. Or I could just... You know, I'm going to reroll. I don't like any of that. Beautiful. That's much better. I just rerolled until I found something I want. I've got so... Since I'm so high up in terms of levels, I should be getting something that's good. You know, like anything that's comparable and decent at all. Uh, at a certain point, right? And like... So it's just like, for me, it's just like, wait. Like, why don't I just wait until I get there, right? So... Uh, but yeah, so that's just, keep that one in mind. We can keep, I like this hand, hand actually, quite a bit. Shriek! Alright, this is fine. Obviously they're going to free attack off, so I'm just going to let them have that, and I'm just going to play this. And I'm going to play this first. Gives me the free attack as well. Alright, beautiful. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, they get regen. Okay, that's not very good, but it's fine. I'm just going to go here, because that's probably going to die anyways. Alright. Beautiful. And then we get to play Alawi next turn. And we can play Alawi and a Tentacle Smash, because we refill 4 mana, which is exactly what Tentacle Smash costs. By the way, Tentacle Smash used to be a better power. Actually, we're going to lose the Allow here, which is fine, because then that means we can play another one afterwards. That's the other funny thing, is if you, if you have multiple Allow in hands, you can do this. Because I, I can play her again. This is great. I love this so much. Watch. I get to do it again. They only have so many miss rates, guys. They can only block her so many times. Boom. Look at that. Infinite allowies. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> I was able to do this three times, man. Jeez, and then this time she would level, I and mean, even if I didn't finish them off at that point, I would have been able to then attack with everything, right? Jeez. 
crazy. That that one's crazy. All right. Uh, I don't like any of them. Maybe just jailbreak. At least it draws us a champion, right? Oh, this one's really good. Really good. Yeah, we can get that guy. And then... Probably just leave it at that. And then do I want the gold chest or spells chest? Probably just the gold chest, to be honest. We've also got a uh, frostbite on the strongest enemy each round, so that should slow them down a bit. So now, if we get a ton of allowage in our hand, that's a good thing, right? Because we can constantly just play them. Alright, well, we'll get some Jutsu Teemos as well. They're gonna block here, probably. Yep. Pretty predictable sometimes from the AI. Unfortunately, that is going to be the not going to have any value from Frostbite, but this will. We've got burst speed stuff here in case they did anything like that. Um. Well, actually, what I can do. Oh, no, I can't. I think no matter what, my. Uh, Actually, I don't think it will. I don't think it will die. Okay, if I go this way, right? What I was going to do is I was going to play this one, but since I go this way, they can't out-damage me enough with that. Oh, actually, no, they could have, but they chose not to. All right. Well, now they're going to face the consequences for not just killing the tentacle, because now a Lowie exists. So, unfortunately for them... And Lowie's going to level off the first attack here for 15 damage and it's basically over Live. yeah the way to beat a Lowy is you just have to kill the tentacle it's like the only way I don't even care if they block or not it's not gonna matter look at that 56 damage 56 there's so many insane like powers that work well with the Lowie too. Like it's it's really hard to find something that doesn't work with the Lowie. Like you, there's just so many good ones. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a power like video on like what works best with different champions. But I think what I'll do is like they'll come out after I do complete dominations, right? So like once I've played the champion enough to know, I'll be like, oh okay, well like for example, like I played. Uh, to level 30 and star 3 with Alawi and then like Jinx and things like that and then I can play with like powers and be like hey by the way this power is good this power is good you know and stuff like that so just keep stuff like that in mind I might do that in the future I don't like that actually at all uh, we'll just go like here I guess I don't know alright uh, what do I want to get rid of here I really don't like jailbreak. Get it out of here. Alright. We're going to heal back up anyways. I'm not really that worried about losing to Viego. We're just going for the strongest build possible, baby. Alright. Maybe I should have kept the poison dart. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I probably should have, but it's fine. Oh, nice, nice. So now we can play this. Summon a tentacle. And now the movement starts, baby. Alright, nice. We are not going to block. The reason why we don't block here is because then they would get this guy, right? And we don't want that. So we just don't want to have him. And we can play a Lowie right off the start. The beautiful thing is if they try to kill Lowie, we have two more. Oh, 
Oh, but instead they killed the tentacle, huh? Alright, well now what we can do is we can do this. Because now this is going to generate some more tentacle stuff for Alawi here. And they can't even play Viego, so they're kind of screwed. And then what we can do is we could probably just tentacle smash, actually. And then that would... Would that be enough? It's not enough. Uh, we'll just do it like this then. We're going to win anyways, but I was kind of hoping we could level up differently there, but it's fine. Look at that. Beautiful. Boom! By the way, sorry for being quiet. I was kind of chewing a little bit on ice. Um, who? Regen is good. Shadow Totem is good. You know what? Do I re Nah, I don't need a reroll. Regen's really good on her. So is Philosopher's Stone. They're all good. I'll just go Regen. That's fine. Yeah, you just play around a lot. She's literally your finisher. Just play around her. Yeah, see, then then I can... Yes, duplicate. So much better. And then we're going to go Smooth Soloist here. We're going to go into the Space Doggos. And we're going to crush them. That's right. Alright. Beautiful. Hmm. We'll get rid of both. We'll keep mirror image, though. We will keep mirror image. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Wait, what? They just played that without the nightfall. That basically means that they're useless. Alright, I guess. Beautiful. I do like the fact, by the way, that they took rid of the spell shield on messengers. It was way too strong that they had spell shield. Like, that was crazy to me. Like, they, that they would just get free spell shield as well, and then they would become so big, and there was literally no way to remove them. Like, like, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> why give them that kind of power? You know what? I'm just gonna let them attack. I don't even need to take any extra damage on the tentacle here. And then, all I do is I play a Lowie to start. Boom. Look at that. Got double Alawi on the board. That is right. There we go. So now what I'm going to do, by the way, because of this epic combo, is I can now actually make my Alawi elusive. Look at that. An elusive Alawi. That's right. And I can even make another copy with this guy. And look at that. So much. So much damage. Boom! The tentacle slams down and Alawi crushes the competition. Yeah, uh, I really like Alawi's playstyle because it's... So... The reason why I like Alawi so much is because she has a very unique playstyle while also still not just being, like, just completely like, nah, you know, I'm just gonna turn my brain off and just win, right? Like, she doesn't have that sort of feel, right? She actually still has some, like, skill to her, it feels like, and things like that. Uh, we can do one of... Oh, they're both good. I think sorcery might actually be better here, but Nature's Revenge is just fun. Yeah, I think Nature's Revenge is actually slightly better, and the reason why is because we're probably going to get a Lally anyways, so the reason why I say that is because then it gives an F-free attack, right? Oh, allies have an extra attack as well. And by the way, also, whenever you hit level, like, 28, I think is what it is, like, level 28 or 29, you get uh, 40 health, which is so much. Like, you get 40 health. It's really hard for a lot of the enemies to beat that 
pretty consistently. Uh, which is pretty nice to, to you know, kind of deal with and all that. Probably just going to play Answered Prayer here. It's really good. And the reason why Answered Prayer is really good is because you just get two. So you're going to get a lot of value here. We're going to get a 4-4 four, four tentacle that's going to become a 7-7 seven, seven tentacle. I was going to say, if we keep drawing Teemos, that'll be kind of wild. Alright, and then all we have to do is pull them in. Actually, I'll pull them in so that they have to take one of their guys. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like they actually have to take one of their guys and block. Not just give them the free ephemeral block. Ephemeral block, oh my gosh, I can't speak English. Okay, um... You know, I could actually just play Teemo and capture both of them. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Alright, nice. Uh, cool, they're gonna buff them once. And then I'll probably just play the Answered Prayer here. Get another Alawi, yep. Yes, sir. Alright. Oh, uh, well, one of these Teemos is dead, for sure. You know what, why don't we just kill both Teemos? Why not? You know, like, you could just kill both Teemos completely fine here. Alright. Yep, they get the Dawn Seeker back, or Dawn Speaker back, and then we can play two Alawis next turn, because of Duplicate. By the way, it's been a while since I've gotten the Legendary Power, so it's kind of nice to get one again. I thought my luck had ran out, you know? Alright, beautiful. Look at that. 18-5. Nothing they can do. Instantly will level. Boom. He's actually also gonna fuck the Alawis. What did I get? Savage Shield? Nice. Okay, so now what I do is I use this guy to make all of my allowies and things elusive and then I can just pull in you at the end so you die and then you at the end so you die and look at that look at that it's a 26 21 tentacle then they heal which then grants the healed stats to this guy and then look at that oh my god guys 168 a neg or negative or negative 168 damage or oh my god 168 damage English is hard and we're just gonna leave it at that <laughs> uh but yeah yeah no I'm excited ah I am excited it's gonna be a fun Galio adventure here uh I don't think they're gonna do that well into me but we'll see you know we'll see we'll see how they do Let's see here. What, what are we... We're in a center. Alright. I think we just purchase health and we just move on. Go in with full 40 health there. With all 10 of our powers. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I think just go like this. I'm not going to give Senna a chance to just kill my sapling, so we'll just do this. And then what I will do is, next round, I'll play this guy. But I'm also going to play this. You know, I can be a nuisance and just get that real quick. Just to make them have to get it back. I don't plan on keeping this Teemo alive. It's just funny. Boom, look at that. No, not Teemo. How did I not see that one coming, guys? You know what? We'll just level him. Why not? He doesn't do anything now that he's level, it's just funny. Alright. 
It does have 16 Puffcats in the deck, too. Now, they do have two Senna's, which is a little scary, but... We should still be okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try and go for, like, the perfect health run here. Alright. Now I'm just gonna play Allowing. Now they might have a kill spell in that case to level up uh, a, a Senna, which is fine. Oh, they don't. And then we can just do that. So then even if we didn't end on that turn, we would have ended at the next one. Right? So, pretty great. Look at that, double elusives. Well, Senna will level, actually. Ooh, they stayed alive, huh? Nice, I like it. A little spicy. I'm fortunate they're still gonna lose, but... Yeah, we still got the rally, which is the most important part. Boom! Yeah, it's gonna be kind of a rough one for him, unfortunately. Because now we can just do this, and you're gone. Look at that. They survived, though. I'm surprised that they got as far as they did. Boom! No! Don't do it! Why would you do that to the poor soul? Hmm. They actually still did extra damage to themselves, too. Nice. 15 extra damage than what was needed, but we did it. It was easy peasy. Potentially lemon squeezy. Alright. Beautiful. All this XP that we don't need, because we're level 30. But yeah, no, this is pretty great so far. Yeah, it's just, I forgot, it's, it's gonna be a blank chain. I was like, I was like waiting. I was like, normally there's something here, but the reason why there's something here is because we already did our daily adventure. There's no, uh, like, you know, weekly quest or anything like that, so. Makes it a lot easier and stuff. But yeah, so, you know, allow it. Hopefully you guys appreciate them. And I don't know, I think that that's a pretty good run to just kind of showcase how easy it is with her at times. Um, she's disgustingly strong. I don't even, like, she could take on a 4 or 5 star, no questions asked. Like, you know, like, depending on how much removal there was, maybe I'd want Spell Shield, but, like, other than that, you're fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you're, yeah. She's just so good. She's so good. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Uh, that is two of the complete nomination champions down, even though I have to do, like, 22 more. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it does take a while to kind of level everybody up, though. Like, I can't play Galio runs all day nonstop without, you know, for just like... So it's like, I can't really just do all of these complete dominations as quickly as possible. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!